So I'm here at Dublin City Comic Con and I'm with Ernie Hudson of Ghostbusters fame, Crow and Transformers Prime and many, many others. Oh, yeah. Um, so Ernie, um, is this your first time in Dublin? It is my first time in Dublin, yes. And uh, how are you finding it? It's great. It's, uh, it's been really amazing. We've had a, a great time. My wife and I are here together and uh, the people are so incredibly nice. Everybody, without exception, has been really, really very, very pleasant. So I'm having a great time. Great. Um, Ernie, you've you've been a part of some really iconic films, uh, you know Transformer. Well, Transformers Prime was the TV series, but um, you were in uh, Ghostbusters and Crow. What was it like um, when you were first in those films? Like with the first day on set, like what was it like? Did you have any idea? Well, you never have any idea how well a film is going to do. You, mm. you hope it does well, mm. and uh, and a movie like Ghostbusters, you know kind of keeps going on 30 years later yeah. uh, people still love it they still dress up <laughs> in their costumes uh, the crow uh, the fans the people who really love the movie and this is 20 years for the crow oh, yeah. um, but the first thing on the set all you want to do is just do the work and yeah. make a movie and hopefully it'll be something that people want to watch a lot of them I've done um, haven't been so you know <laughs> turned out as well but you never know you just do yeah. the work and then after it's over then you say okay that was something yeah. came together in a nice way and um, you you knew um, Brandon Lee before you know the uh, the terrible accident. Yeah. What was it what was it like um, working with him on the Crow? Because that, that's like that's one of my favorite all time uh, superhero films. Yeah, Brandon was a great guy. He was really sweet. I knew him for about eight years before we did the oh, movie, and um, it was always just really a cool kid. You know, it was uh, from where I was sitting, he was he was a kid. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just really unfortunate. I thought he was very talented, and I thought the movie would be a real breakout role for him yeah. and um, the good news is I think the movie really did establish um, the fact that he was very talented yeah. and, uh, and he was very special. I think mm. he would have been a big star had he lived but unfortunately yeah. life doesn't go the yeah. way we think it should. So. Yeah. And um, more recently you've done Transformers Prime and that, that was a fantastic series. I have yeah. to say, it, was, it, was, it really rejuvenated um, interest in the Transformers franchise. And you know, you played William Fowler. And how much fun was it to work with Peter Cullen and uh, Frank yeah. Welker? Well, you know, I've been acting for, oh God, close to 50 years. And uh, I love doing what I do. But voiceover acting is a little bit sort of, you know, on a, a little different path. It's, mm. it's a little bit differently. So when you get a chance to work with Peter Cullen and Frank <laughs> Welker and, um, just some of the really, I mean, it was some great voices on that show. And we would uh, do the shows all in one room together. So I got a chance to work with them sort of um, week after week. And they're just great. I mean, it was a great show. I, I was really sorry to see them, um, you know, bring it to an end. I know they had a set number they were going to do. That's, a, that's um, always great, I think. You know, well, I guess, you know, but I would have loved to have keep, uh, going. Yeah. keep going because I, I enjoy the work. It's one of the most fun shows ever worked yeah. on. Yeah. And your your kids now, how do they, they see you as dad or they see you as, as you know, um, uh, Ernie Hudson the actor? Like, is there any kind of separation for them? Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, it must be very uh, interesting if you're the child of someone who does this business. Mm. But I, as far as I know, they've always seen me as dad. And every once in a while, a movie like a Ghostbusters, <laughs> um, Congo came out. They had the little Congo toys. Um, you know, the crow came out. Uh, mm. My older boys are really very, very um, love that movie a lot. Mm. So you know, sometimes your dad who did something cool, but <laughs> at the end of the day, you're just dad. Yeah. And uh, you know, they they deal with it very well. But I, I don't know from their perspective yeah. what it must be like. I mean, I know a lot of times we'll um, we'll go to events or things I want to do, and they'll go, Nah, we don't want to go. It's like too many people. And they'll come up, and then it's like, then it won't be fun. <laughs> so, um, so I, I can understand that. Yeah. And Ernie, how are you finding? You were saying there, the Dublin fans are really polite, and that. How how is it now meeting your Irish fans? Because you've been all around the world now because of um, your fame. How how different are Irish fans to say American fans, maybe Canadian fans? You know. Yeah, you know, yeah. Every place is, I think, a little bit. There's something distinctly different. Mm. Even though at the at the the base of it, you find people are just basically people. But I think there are certain personalities. You know, I was in Australia. Australia is a very big and very funny mm. and very... Um, but I, I find uh, the fans here and, and my wife and I were talking about it, uh, not only just polite and, and, and nice and, and actually go out of their way to be kind, mm. but they have an enormous sense of humor, which I'm always a little, I was a little surprised by. Um, and it's not... Um, um, I don't want to say Australians have kind of bigger than life, 
but it's just a real down-to-earth sense of humor that I really find very refreshing mm. because um, you don't see that a lot of that in the states and um, and other places I've gone to. So that if I, what I what I take away from this is uh, yeah, just a real sense of who they are as a people and just a great view of life and uh, and the ability to just laugh. Yeah. Well, Ernie, thanks very much. It was an absolute pleasure meeting you. Well, thank you. Have, it was great a, talking have to a great you. time. Well, thank you. Thank you. And I'll tell all the guys who follow me on Twitter or Facebook or my new website, Ernie Hudson Official. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, get yeah. me in touch. Great talking all to right. you. All right. Thanks very much, Ernie. Hi, I'm Ernie Hudson, Winston Zeddemore from Ghostbusters. Who are you going to call? Geek Ireland.